hi guys so in this session we'll discuss how to pass parameter through Jenkins and how to update your test and g.xml file using parameter so for this you need a plugin called maven resources okay this plugin is required you have to add this plugin in your phone.xml file then you have to, to you have to use this plugin in your Jenkins job and you have to update sng.xml file so we'll go through all the step one by one so your this is your form.xml file uh, you know about i hope you know all all thing about form.xml file okay now uh, you don't know then just go through my previous video so this is our how I specified our sng.xml file this is a suite file name and under build we have to specify our plugin under build section so i specify this plugin here okay under build plugins and we have to add one by one plugin so we are using different plugin here so i read this plugin here okay and resource plugin you have to specify you you just mentioned your working directory project working directory in output directory and then sort file name sort file name nothing but tsng.file excel test ng.xml file okay so you just you add this okay you search in google also you'll get this complete line no need to worry about this plugin okay after that you have to go to your jenkins you have to create a jenkins job okay i have created a jenkins job here and i want to configure this again so you want to pass parameter through Jenkins first you have to select this this project is parameter parameterized okay then you have to your parameter like this is a parameter name and you want to pass any default value and description you want to give so you want to add a new parameter how you like just add parameter which kind of parameter you want to really enjoy is all this thing and just click like i want to string parameter and suppose what do you want like password just specify default you want to specify or just you leave the blank and you want to give description or something okay that way you can specify the parameter after that what i'm doing i'm getting all this code from github okay or you can uh, specify your form.xml file you don't want to take from git then you just click none and just give the path of your form.xml file here select here uh, okay this git then you have to come to your build section what you have to do resources okay this is our goal resources resources and here we are passing what to be parameter we are doing pass for like this is para our parameter name browser okay so this is our browser parameter what we are doing we are assigning to this another variable browser, hyphen d and browser so all this parameter are assigned then we are just install like means like it will compile uh, it will compile and test the code also okay so this is our goal so this is these are the changes required in our check-in job now one more change is required in our test ng we have to what value we are reading here we have to assign to test ng dot xml file so go to your test ng dot xml file the, the variable name you are assigning there you have to put like that hyper dollar and in under curly braces you have to specify the variable name which we have mentioned in goal okay so all these things i mentioned here so th your things are done and this will be used in our test case and here i am testing this running this test case to launch the application and login into this once it's done you have to just nothing just click build with parameter so this default value will come if you specify some default value it will come automatically you want to change you can change here i don't want to change right now and then click build 
and go. So output. So I started downloading code from Git. Okay. Okay. See here you can see all this your our variable are assigned with value chrome and this is url this is a username this is password everything is assigned okay so is reading from the parameter and assigning value here using resources plugin now is scanning the project all building and uh, testing actually will start so it's building So now browser is launched. Okay. Now is our this is in URL and we log into application. Okay. So you go to Jenkins code is download here. You see this test ng production file. So see, it's updated all the values. So, okay, this all the value updated by our what value we pass through Jenkins. So that way, you can test your application. Okay, thank you.